time and I accidentally dislocated his arm. Um, I have anger problems. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I be ready to knock a nigga out. Like I go from zero to a hundred real quick. I gotta constantly contain myself just so I won't explode. Not like that, fool. Get your mind out the gutter. Before I started my journey on mastering my anger issues, I wasn't on Black Air Force timing. On Kami, I was on Black Timberland timing. I ain't finna sit here and act like I've always been the victim. Sometimes I've been the aggressor. They got these paws cause they kept talking with them jaws. Um, pause. Most of the time it was due to the fact that I either misinterpreted what they said or I just did too much and my temper got the best of me. I remember a couple years ago when I used to live with my parents, I remember this one day I brought the squad over to chill and things went completely left. We were all upstairs, sitting around, chilling, shooting the bull. Next thing I know, me and my brother get in an argument. I'ma try to piece together this whole situation so it can make sense. This is basically how it went. Back then, me and these two were trying to make an anime originally by ourselves. Like, no animation company, no nothing. We were amateurs. We were in the process of making a trailer for the anime, right? And I was the only animator. And this was around the time where I wasn't an established creator like I am now. I was Devante, not yet the one. I'm talking about this is before I did animation. Like this was my rookie year of animation. This was when, back when I was doing reactions, skits, my fucking music videos, all that. I just only dabbled with animation every now and then just to like learn how to actually do it because I didn't know how to like do it for real. So with me being a rookie, I'ma keep it a hundred with y'all. I traced the entire trailer, literally the entire thing for 10 months. Nothing was original. I'm gonna be honest, I ain't sitting here a lot of you niggas telling me, hey, AJ, no nigga, I traced that shit. Cause I honestly thought back then that it was okay to do that. No, 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 big dog. Let's put a pin in that, come back to that later, slide into the side. The problem here was, is that he used that as fuel to downplay my work ethic when it came to my content creation, which I've been doing since 2010. And you, bro, if anybody knows me, they know I don't play about my content creation craft, bro. This is what I love to do. This is what I live for. I eat, sleep, breathe content creation, bro. I'm a lion. When you come in my den, the grind don't stop. It don't matter what the opponent is. We will triumph. I went many days hungry, sleepy. Nigga, I had no energy whatsoever. Brain fried just to push out videos that weren't even that good in my eyes now, but they were the sh back then to me so when somebody tries to make the assumption that my work ethic is the same for everything i do based on a side project that i wasn't really even like taking serious or even caring about for real then it pisses me off like you can't mix the two so when he started downplaying my work ethic on my content creation because of the trailer it got me so mad to the point where i stopped listening to logic and reasoning all together like he was just telling his opinion but it's the way that he said it he made me feel like i was a lesser being because i did like i did what i did like come, come on bro and no he didn't work harder than me i've been in the trenches since 2010 and i never gave up like dude watch your mouth this was a side project don't make me get my spray put my spray bottle at shut yo that's why my blood was boiling so on Tommy, I get active. Like, what's your tone when you talking to Big Mellow in this mug, you heard me? I get about my chair and I blow up on him. Mind you, this is my older brother, but he's skinny compared to me. Like, I, I'm I'm fresh off of football. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big little dude, you heard me? I was like a swole garden gnome. I'm only like 5'6", bro. If you would have played with me back then, you would have got your ass tossed around like Hulk did Loki. So he like, are you walking up on me? I'm like, duh. Duh, you ain't finna downplay me. He like, I'm not downplaying you. You need to back up off me. Clearly you were. I will call the homies right now and they will tell you the same thing. So I'm like, I can walk up to you if I want to. I ain't afraid of you. What you gonna do about it? I was, ooh, that junk hot. I was heated, fool. If he wasn't talking these hands, I ain't wanna talk. I was ready to throw them paws, you hear me? It was like the boondocks in there. You would've thought Riley and Huey was fighting, which is pretty much what this situation that was happening was kinda like. If we was at the Grammys and he said that on stage, I would sit my black behind down because I ain't trying to lose no sponsorships. <laughs> 
So my boy b Rye, you know, the guy from this story on my original channel, he's like, yo, y'all need to calm down. Why does it matter? My brother like, man, F all that. He walking up on me. I ain't finna let him do that. So I get even more pissed off and I push him. He pushed me back. I push him back again. He punched me in the face. Oh, call me after that punch I got active. So I spear this man into the couch, right? Meek, mock, mookity, mook, mock, meek. Mama, give me a two-piece combo. Hold the mustard. It got to the point where it wasn't even a fight anymore. It was complete domination. Like, I was overpowering this nigga in every form of fashion. And I was only using, like, 25% of my strength. Like, what is this? Beerus versus Super Saiyan God Goku? Even though I was at 110 degrees, I only used 25% of my strength because I didn't want to kill my brother. Like, I didn't want to, like, send him to the shadow realm it's my only brother i have what I, I care for you but you still getting these hands nigga like what literally moments later when i speared him into the couch and started punching him repeatedly i held down his arm at the same time and i accidentally dislocated his arm and what made it even worse is my boy b rod tries to intervene again and it got even uglier bro he tried to grab me and stop me and i flipped b rod his back hit like the edge of the TV stand. Oh my God, I was so sorry for that. b if you watching this, I'm so sorry. My brother too, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt y'all. <laughs> y'all pissed me off. It's just a fight or flight mode. You touch me, my body is going to react. I'm sorry, you might get flipped. You might get thrown in outer space. You might get thrown to a different, I don't know. I did the opposite <laughs> of what my mama always told me to do. She always told me to let the opponent hit first. Then I can mop the flow, hide the wet sign just to catch him slipping. Like my mom was basically Mr. Miyagi, but I turned around and my dumb ass went to Cobra Kai where they strike first, no mercy. And oh boy, did I show no mercy because I was pissed, my guy. At least I love the nigga enough to not use my 100%. This would have got ugly, uglier than it already was. He like, ah, my arm. Next thing I know, I hear footsteps coming up the stairs. I'm like, oh. You already know who it is. Mama Bear and Papa Bear has entered the chat. You know, my parents were pissed because my mama didn't even say a word when she got upstairs. She just came over, grabbed me by the ear. My dad went to go check on my brother. I'm sitting there, blood still boiling. My homies just sitting there in shock and silence. They can't do nothing because they know if they would have intervened, it would have ended up like b Rai. Sorry again, b Rai. After this whole situation escalated, I said my sorries, I apologize. You know, I made the executive decision to work on my anger. That's why I smile a lot these days. I've been working on it for the past five years. I've been doing pretty good, I, I, I guess. Sometimes I fold these days, you know, I'm human, it's gonna happen. It's not like I got ultra instinct, nigga, where I just stay calm all the time. I'm not weas, you know? My anger ain't like it used to be, but it's still present. I don't just go from zero to 100 now. It's more of a gradual thing nowadays. You know, I, I'm working on it. And to my brother, I'm sorry, but all you had to do was just keep my work ethics name out your freaking mouth. Oh, I like Big Macs. Ay. I like chicken wings. Uh -huh. Give me them butter biscuits. Yeah. Cause it's tasty. <laughs> Give me them fries. Uh. Yeah. Give me that nine. Uh. Uh -huh. I, I don't get tired. Uh. Uh -huh. I'm fit for greatness. Ay.